100 meters. Shakari Richardson has the championship record and the collegiate record from when this meet was in Austin three years ago. It will be there next year, by the way, by contrast. It's going to be 102 in, Aug in Austin today. So there's that. There she is, Jalen Alfred. Alfred, she is the collegiate leader in the 100 meters this season. Yes, she is the leader. She comes into the final with the fastest time, although maybe not the most not notoriety, as in, is also in this race with Abby Steiner. But she fully decided to dedicate herself to mastering the art of relaxation in her races to complement her brilliant start, which you will see in this race. Her, her accolades support that she has done it to a T as she is the Big 12 Women's Outdoor Performer of the Year and the Big 12 Champion in the 100 and the 200. She started in lane five. And next to her is the aforementioned Abby Steiner, who ran a personal best 1090 in the semifinals on Thursday. Yeah, Abby Steiner, I call her Miss Arm Swinger herself. She's rocking the braids. She's from Dublin, Ohio, and she's looking to double today, and that's a real possibility. She was a woman on a mission on Thursday. She posted personal best in both the 100 and the 200 meter dash. And speaking of personal best, on the other side of Julian Alfred, the senior from Oregon, she'll get a big reception here. Kamba Nelson, she had a personal best in the semifinal as well. Yes, Kevin Nelson, she is no stranger to winning as she pulled off the hat trick at the Pac-12 Outdoor Championships, winning the 100, 200, and being a part of that 4x100 meter relay. Winning must be contagious when Shelly Ann Frazier-Price is your mentor, and Nelson's coming into this final off the heels of a personal best, as you mentioned, Dwight. A 10.97. She had a great start in the semi. She's going to need that today to have a chance to get on the podium. So there are the lane assignments with Nelson in four, Alfred in five, Steiner in six. Favor Ophelia is in this final, the collegiate record holder in the 200 meters. And Melissa Jefferson, who can also bring it. Do not discount her. There is Favor Ophelia. We will see her in her specialty, the 200 meters, later on in the afternoon. The rain has virtually stopped at this point. So it won't be pelting them in their face. And you know what the conditions are like right after a rain. Quite humid, makes running fast a little bit easier as we also look at Kavona Davis. Big team implications. She is in lane number one, so the teammate of the collegiate leader also poised to score points. There's nine finalists. They scored at eight positions. You talked about it, Dwight, Favor Ophelia. She didn't look like her normal self in the 100-meter semis, but she came back in the 200, knocked up all those cobwebs. So any race that she is in, you never want to count her out. She actually beat Abby Steiner at the SEC Championships in both the 100 and the 200-meter dash. And with Gittins out in the high jump, the remaining Texas athletes are going to need to step it up to cover the loss of those points. Alfred in five, Steiner in six. And they're off well. Alfred out good. Steiner, not such a great start. There's Kumba Nelson right there with Alfred. But here comes Steiner. She can close like a house on fire. Is there enough room? No. It's Alfred Nelson Steiner. 10.97 the flash time. Corrected to 11.02. That's a rather large correction. Just a 0.2 meters per second trailing wind. With all that rain on the track makes your, hair, your feet a little heavy. But it no matter, the collegiate leader pulls it off, wins the national title. Nelson of Oregon holds up for second and Steiner finishing third. Yes, and you'll see it was extremely close down the stretch, but Julian Alfred worked on that relaxation in the last part of her race, and it came to fruition here because Kimba Nelson was charging hard, and so was Abby Steiner, and sometimes you just got to outlean somebody to get the win, right? Nice job there by Julian Alfred, and we talked about that start, right? She gets out the box. Oh, my gosh, such a powerful woman, and she's running, running, going to her arms, going to her arms. And when it got tight, she made sure she stayed relaxed and came away with the victory. Julian Alfred turned 21 yesterday, so you know it's going to be lit tonight after this track meet. Got to be excited for her, and I know her Texas teammates are excited about the points she just got there. Well, the last time that Texas won the 100 meters was Alexandria Anderson back in 2009, and other luminaries, including one that just got inducted into the NCAA College Hall of Fame, Carlette Guidry of Texas back in 1991. 
It was six thousandths of a second that separated Alfred from Nelson. And Julian Alfred's downstairs with John. Thank you, Dwight. Julian, I watch the introductions as they go through the lanes and they go in favor of Ophelia. And they think, oh, well, she could win. And I see Abby Steiner. And they go, oh, she could win. And Kemba Nelson, I think she could win. And I see Julian Alfred. She could. What do you think of covering that field? Uh, I think it's a great field. You know, on, on Thursday, everybody ran like, not everybody, but six out of, we ran like um, sub 11. And I knew all I had to do today was get out. And like my coach said, see you on the other side of the track. And that's what I did. As you look at the replay, where in that 100 meters did you win the race? Um, I think from the start, to be honest. Um, I know once I get a good start, and once I keep my momentum going, then nobody can really catch me at the end. And just being patient in my drive phase, you know, like my coach said all the time. So I asked this to Joseph Fambula yesterday, and he laughed at me. But you are going to get ready, and you got some time. But you got to run a leg in the 4x4. Four four. You ready for that? I'm ready. Anything for my team at this point. And everything for the team, and Texas can use every point. Dwight? That's for sure. And to that, 